University of Limpopo has mastered the art of creating a livable environment where students with disabilities can receive a high quality education. It's no surprise that the institution continues to attract high achieving students with special needs. Over the years, the Riahona Disability Center's intake has grown exponentially, attracting the top 20 performing matriculants in the country. The center has enrolled 41 first-time entering students in the 2023 academic year, up from 21 in 2022, a 95% increase. The 2023 intake includes Zepo Makwela, a top 20 performing matriculant in 2022 in the country, who is studying towards a Bachelor of Education, and other top provincial performers from across the country. The students are confident that they will achieve academic success with ease, thanks to the center's advanced technology and dedicated staff members they have been introduced to. I'm looking forward to uh, achieving my academic uh, year here, years, and finishing on record time and achieving all the things that I've set out to achieve because I believe that this center provides us with enough support um, emotionally, physically and mentally. With the help of University of Limpopo RDC, I'm looking forward to with completing my academic journey to become an advocate. Uh, my highlights with the Riahona Disability Center are they help me to access the campus on my own and also help me to access or facilitate the equipment within the Riahona Disability Center building. According to Mr. Justice Pugubie, Deputy Director at Riahona Disability Center, this increased intake demonstrates that the university is inclusive regardless of race, class or disability and the registration process for the 2023 academic year was very smooth due to prior preparations and recruitment drives at various special schools across the country. The intake for this year has increased tremendously, almost by 100% or more, because last year we had about 21 first years. This year we have got an incredible 43. That's a huge number. And if this is not inclusive, I don't know what inclusive is, because as you can see, the University of Limpopo is very inclusive and is taking students with disabilities and giving them opportunity to realize their dreams. Uh, this year's registrations went very smoothly, mainly because uh, our preparations, prior preparations last year were very good and uh, also that uh, we went on a recruitment drive to various schools across the country where we also assisted students there with applications. And then the university and RDC made sure that uh, all students were assisted and that's why the registration went so well. As the center of excellence and the first of its kind in the country, many students are being assisted to reach their potential through its assistive programs that help, among others, visually impaired students, physically disabled students and students with severe medical conditions whereas other students have completed their studies and are now playing an important role in society. Letabo Malega, a blind second-year LLB student, began his academic journey with the university in 2022. The top 20 performing matriculant in 2021 lavished praise on how the center has aided him in his academic journey thus far. Um, since my arrival here at the University of Limpopo, and uh, particularly the Riahona Disability Centre was introduced to a lot of um, relevant facilities um, that help uh, me uh, in my studies. So they cater for my special needs and uh, they've been assisting me a lot and I use them efficiently to an extent that I end up uh, performing very well and passing my modules. The center provides the following services to students living with disabilities. Orientation and mobility training for blind students, low vision reading facilities for partially sighted students, audio braille library services, computer laboratory with computers having a JAWS program installed for use by blind students, and braille production facilities for the conversion of print into braille. University of Limpopo, 
Finding Solutions for Africa.